<laughs> Hørt herren. Welcome back to part 4 of my solo Simpson adventure. After resting up in Udenadatta from a day full of dramas, I was feeling good and up early to get back into the swing of things. I was aiming to get to Mount Dare for some lunch, where I would also load up with all the fuel and other supplies needed for the desert crossing. Then I would make my way to Dalhousie Springs, where I would make camp for the night. Before I'd even jumped on the bike, this day turned out to be somewhat of a groundhog day. Oh well, today has already been an absolute shit show. <laughs> Just leaving that dodgy room, back down to the roadhouse. Come out this morning, tire flat again. Oh, I ripped it out, put the other tube in that I bought from the shop, which I have on my shoulder right now. And for some reason the valve won't let me put air in it. So I ripped that one back out, I had to walk all the way down here and lucky I didn't throw out the used one that they patched for me. And I've chucked that in and it seems to be holding. Um, the first one that was flat this morning again, I think that's my bad. I think I uh, might have pinched it by accident. And then I've come out this morning and it's all, all over. But anyway, it's about 9.30 or so now. I'm so hungry. I've just been stressing about getting this sorted. I'm going to go in here, get a feed. Hopefully, this tyre stays all good. And, uh, yeah, I can get out of here before we get too much rain. just want to get to Dalhousie tonight. Just fueled up the bike. And finally... I'm leaving this place, fingers crossed, can get up to Mount there with no more issues. I might just take it easy because I'm bloody paranoid, but there's another tube at Mount there that I can get, so hopefully I can just get there and grab that and then I'll feel a lot better for the journey. Well, I thought I felt a lot better last night when I got two new ones but they didn't work out so well either anyway I just want out of here I've lowered the pressures down to 20 I think they might have been closer to 25 yesterday so we'll see if that works a bit better I want to avoid Udnadatta yeah, Udna like the plague now I stayed in there that hotel man don't stay there. <laughs> Better than camping, I guess, but still. I you've got the map on you. I think I've got just over 300k a day to get to Dalhousie, so. We'll see how it all plays out. One thing to another, Eddie. Not the tyre, it's my fuel. I found out just a couple of k's ago when I stopped before it was doing this. I've had this little, um, oh, I don't know what you call it, it's like a rubber seal thing that sits at the top of the fuel cap. And it's been falling out on this trip and it's gone. I must have lost it on um, that Udna data when I just filled up. So from one problem to another here, um, I've got no other option really, I'm just going to have to get the tape out and tape around this thread and hope that that will seal her up because it keeps bouncing around and um, or when I bounce around the fuel comes out up the top there so tape her up, see if I can fix that issue too <sighs> heaps of fuel to get to um, Mount Dare won't matter if I lose that little bit but I don't want it to be an ongoing thing, especially in the Simpson. That was very tight to put back on there. So hopefully that means there's a good 
seal are in there. Let's bag back on and keep going and see if any comes out. Okay, I've just ticked over 100 k's for the day. For the most part now, everything's looking okay. Except the GoPro had a spasm, so I just had to reset it with the pulling the battery out, which is painful. But other than that, things are okay for now. So keep those positive vibes going. Battle one made it to Mount Dare. Oh, that was the longest 246 kilometers of my life and most stressful as well. Happy I've made it here. I've just got to sort my crap out and see what I can do here. Here it is, Mount Dare Hotel. Once at Mount Dare, I grabbed the spare tube from the shop. It was the only one that they had. Once again, the same issue came about. After pumping the tube up, there was a slow leak. At this point, I wasn't sure if it was from me pinching all of these tubes or if it was something on the rim causing this. I decided to take the tyre completely off the rim and give the rim a complete check over. Filing any sharp edges as well as adding extra tape underneath the rim tape to protect the tube. The boys at Mount Dare patched that tube up and I got to reinstalling it, doing a bit of a rush job in the process. I was over it at this point, once again the sound of leaking air. But this time there was no doubt that I'd pinched the tube. Frustrated and down and out about the whole thing, I ended up putting the patched tube back in that got me to Mount Dare in the first place. It seemed to be holding air and was my last chance at this point, carrying the second patched tube as a spare. Mentally and physically drained from changing tyres and tubes for hours, I ended up camping out the back of Mount Dare Hotel, hoping in the morning that there would still be air in that tyre. I ended up meeting two other DRZ riders who had been stuck in Mount Dare for a few days while getting some radiator issues sorted before their crossing of the Simpson. The boys were nice enough to invite me to ride out with them the next day to start the crossing. After all the dramas that I'd had in the previous days, I was happy to take them up on the offer. Good morning everyone, still in Mount Dare, oh, trying to get my rubbish to the bin, <laughs> I didn't film anything when I got here yesterday, I've just been absolutely miserable, um, yeah, I'll give you a bit of an explanation shortly, but yeah, not ideal, but I am all fueled up and loaded and and ready to go and get out of this place so there's good news but yeah it's still been pretty crap but hopefully today is on the up and we're all good we're gonna get in here and have some brekkie and then I'll uh, have a bit of a chat when I head out of here and tell you what happened and what the plan is from here First, I forgot, I still have to fuel up the main tank. <laughs> I don't want to forget that. Alright. We're out of Mount Dare. As you would have just seen on camera there, I got couple other blokes I'm with after yesterday's debacle Juan and Dane I think it was um, 
yeah, they're heading the same way anyway. They've been in Mount Dare for three days with some uh, radiator dramas getting them sorted on the same DRZs. So I feel a bit more comfortable riding with uh, some other people to help me out, I think. I wasn't thinking straight yesterday. I was I was stressing out. I just wanted to get out of here. I even was looking up riding to Alice Springs and fly home, ship the bike home, but just as far to get to Alice and just this tough. I would want to do that on my own and have more drama. So I'm out here, might as well give the desert, give it a crack, see what happens. But yeah, fully loaded up. Right. Two fuel bladders and the uh, jerry can full, tank full. Um, yeah, water in my backpack. Loaded. And one of the other guys, they have uh, got some oil to drop off at Dalhousie to you know, board courier, I think. They lost the sump plug and they need that. It's oil, so first job is to get there and check out Dalhousie and give these people the stuff they need so they can get out of there. But um, yeah, I didn't feel much yesterday after or last night. I was working on that chair and dressed out. So. But today's a new day. Fingers crossed. Get through the day with no issues. Um, have some fun. But anyway, 70 k's to Dalhousie. Let me know how we go. Keep posted. Dalhousie Springs, 3Ks. The other fellas are behind me, but uh, I'm happy to wait and uh, cruise along on this crossing now after having all these tyres go. Um, sort of put the wind up me a bit, a bit uh, stressed out over everything. and. It'd be nice just to have good company. We did have some rain last night. I was in the tent. I don't know if it just sounded louder in the tent, but it sounded like it was pretty heavy. Uh, hasn't really affected the roads. There's no dust. Not as much dust, which is nice, but I was getting worried that I was gonna wake up and the roads would be shut and I wouldn't be able to get out of Mount Bear at all. But this is it. around this way so that guy is going to be down here I imagine it's probably me but I don't have his stuff but I can tell him someone has it <laughs> hey mate good I don't have your stuff but they're, they're behind me so they're coming it's on their bikes oh, good. So, so they shouldn't be too far behind me Right, seen enough of Dalhousie. Didn't go for a swim. It's too much of a pain to get everything out of the bike to put dry clothes back on and get my towel out. My towels are still wet from this morning anyway, so give it a miss. Just keep on keeping on. And now we're into the Simpson Desert. And that's a 
car. <laughs> Good hand. <hearing. laughs> okay? Yeah, all good. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, this part is. It's hard to move over when you're in a rut. <laughs> no, that's all right. There'll be two more bikes coming. Well, there you go. The first drop <laughs> or layover. Just trying to get out old mate's way and couldn't get out of the wheel right and just fell over. But anyway, no harm done. I'll just remember that for next time. I'm sure we'll be passing plenty of cars so. to not do that all the time just pulled up to get the inner liners out of the jacket it's getting too hot in this sand doing a bit of hard work we'll just wait for the other boys to uh, meet up again but anyway yeah damage report so front fender got a zip tie there she's uh broken so it's hanging on uh, i lost the fuel uh, seal that goes underneath the cap so I've had to put duct tape around the thread hold that in there so I don't lose fuel you can see I lost a little bit this morning what else we got all the front tires hanging in there but yeah everything else on the bike so far is holding there the other guys have these same bladders and they've used theirs as water and not fuel and they're both leaky but I'm holding on that mine will get me there Another 30 k's or so to Perny Bore. I'm gonna dump one of these in. I'm happy to be out here finally into the proper sand stuff. It's a few days of just absolute chaos and stress and I didn't know if I'd get here, but it's good to finally be out here and we're doing it. So, don't really know how far we'll get today. It's a bit of a later start. Sort of dawdled along this morning. Um, but it's alright, we can do two nights in the desert if we have to, so get to Perny Boar, then reassess and keep going out a little bit further I reckon than that. And then tomorrow we'd be close to getting to the end, but it might be too big of a day. We'll see. See how we all feel. But for now it's not too bad. Just sick of these bloody corrugations. You can see all them. I am sick of them. That bit's good. I wish yeah, I had more. It's, it's, getting, it's getting better now. Yeah. I haven't ridden sand that much. Either. I would have liked to have no weight on it too. Oh, if you had no weight, yeah, that'd be, be, be so much fun. I nearly put the RSM pick me up. Yeah. Well, that zip tie I put at the front. Yeah, like, yeah. Every time I <laughs> put the front, I put them out the front. I'm no, no bloody professional, but bloody, I enjoyed that. Now the boys just taking off ahead of me. So I've emptied this bladder, those six litres are in the tank, this one here still full. So by the end of the day, we had to chuck that one in too, and it's just the five litre one left. So, done 143 k's for the day, trying to do another 100 or so more. Thanks buddy. Yeah, another hundred or so for the day and that's about the halfway point between Mount Dare 
that's Ville. Fall of 100. Yeah, Fall of 100 between. But I've took the tool bag off. Oh, took the tool bag off the front as well. Tied it down the back. Just uh, decided to get rid of that zip tie on the fender. So I don't bottom it out on these little whoop de doos So far, it's been pretty, pretty cruisy riding. Obviously, the dunes are going to get bigger as we go. But yeah, obviously never done it before, so I don't know what to expect if it's going to get harder the further we go or, or what have had a bit of rain recently so maybe that's done us some good and packed the sand down make things nice and firm Stop for a second. Soak it all in, eh? Quick pick. It's cool to finally be here. Oh, the little DRZ. through the desert, get me home, I think the next sort of point we get to is a turn off, I think it's the rig road, another track that sort of follows along the French line, I don't know exactly how far off we were from it but to get to there I'll pull up friend from before, earlier today. Sorry, I Just pulled up here, well, just about to leave, actually, the uh, rig road turn off. 330 k still to go to Birdsville. Like to get another 80 done today, to be uh, down to that 250 mark, pretty much halfway, sort of. Um, I don't know if we'll get there, it's 4 o'clock now, so don't want to be riding too late, but give it a red-hot crack. So here we go. What's that? Yeah. I'll just do a bit and then stop. If you still feel alright, keep going.
hit my target of 250s for the day might be a bit ambitious getting pretty tired now I could probably push on a bit more I like to get to 200 for the day so I'm just sitting here pulled up just waiting for the other guys to catch up and uh, the next clearing I think we'll just pull into and set up I didn't want to go too far and then make them have to keep going further but I've done 185 um, I don't know where the next clearing will be can't exactly see any just yet but maybe just up over these next couple of hills there might be something so hopefully they're here shortly and uh, make a move and set up camp kick back get ready to do it all again tomorrow this section here has been relentless after the rig road just smashing you so yeah i definitely set the bar too high i think i'd get to 250k for the day <laughs> got way harder after the rig road um yeah give another 10 minutes hopefully they're here and go set up once i had regrouped with dane and duan we set off again and turned into the next clearing we came across to set up camp for the night dennis and adam the two fellas we dropped off the diff wheel to earlier in the day were already beginning to set up their camp in the same spot they let us set up nearby to save us from having to push on any further. We were all pretty worn out from the day of riding. Once the tents were up, it was time to get some food ready and enjoy a desert sunset. As always, thanks for watching guys, remember to hit the like button on your way out and subscribe to the channel. The next day in the Simpson is an absolute monster of a day. Thanks again and I'll see you all later.